Hello everybody and welcome back to RimWorld. It is fall, but really it's early winter because we've been struck by a pretty brutal cold snap. All of our colonists are suffering with hypothermia because we still haven't researched parkas yet. Now, with farming out of the way, hopefully Tronka will have more time on his hands to just really buckle down and research a lot this winter and get parkas well underway at least by midwinter. I'd like to have it by early winter, but that might be asking a lot. Tronk is not very good at researching. We still have a long way to go. Now, so that we don't all die of hypothermia, we're going to need to prioritize building some campfires in these rooms. Um, I need my Nyaka to prioritize working on this as soon as possible because Jay has extreme hypothermia and um, it would be a real shame if Jay died because of our negligence after all the resources we put into keeping him alive. So go ahead and bump up the speed. Uh, and unfortunately, Jay has lost a right middle finger to frostbite. It's a real shame. But we can take the one, one tiny loss. One finger shouldn't be that big of a deal. I think that's gonna cause his um, manipulation to go down slightly, but other than that, he should be a pretty decent colonist. Once we get higher tech, we can probably give him a bionic hand or something. But, all right, oh well, we'll live with it. Now at least the uh, hypothermia situation is dealt with. We can probably toggle automatic refuel for this campfire and start filling up this campfire as well. I don't think one campfire is gonna be enough to heat this whole room, but at least it'll keep this room from being super freezing. It'll just be a little freezing. Now, we're looking at our wood stores. We have 445 wood, so we're probably gonna wanna gather some more wood this winter. So, we go to orders, chop wood, and I think um, maybe we chop some wood around here and any wood that's like closely and accessible to the base. Um, and we get Tronka busy with that before Tronka starts research, buckling down and researching all winter. Um, our animals are probably going to need hay moved into their uh, storage pen. So we're gonna go ahead and put priority critical for hay and we'll get Minyaka hauling the hay. Now, I don't like having to haul the hay this far. I think this is gonna be really inefficient. So for future years, I think we're gonna build an extension to our barn that's just hay storage for the summer where the animals can't eat it. And then hauling the hay, we'll just put a little door like right here or something and they can haul it back and forth. I think that'll be a much more efficient way than keeping the hay in our um, fridge oh, all the way over here on the other side of the map. Okay. But yeah, our animals must be hungry because the minute we drop that hay in, our animals all immediately rush to go eat. I think Gorilla's gonna probably grow up any day now. So let's go ahead and assign this as a medical bed. And let's remove this as a medical bed. And let's have Tronka go ahead and rescue Jay and move Jay to the new bedroom over here. Now, Jay has 80% withdrawal uh, for smoke, leaf, and alcohol, which means he's probably four days away from recovering. When he recovers, um, hopefully he'll join us willingly, but if he tries to walk out on us, we'll have to make sure that we don't let him escape, that we um, capture him before he can do that. Um, we should be plenty good on wood for the winter now. Yeah, we've got so much wood that we've just chopped down. Chanka, you're amazing. Critical alert, hypothermia. Who has bad hypothermia? Minyaka has serious hypothermia. Okay, good. Minyaka is automatically seeking a safe temperature. Stay in here a little while. How's Minyaka's hypothermia situation doing? Good, non-existent. Tronka is recovering from his hypothermia very quickly. And Gorilla is healthy as ever. Jay, fantastic. His, he still has frostbite all over, but he's recovering from that. And um, he only lost one, one finger. All in all, 
I think that was a good recovery from a bad situation that we probably never should have let happen in the first place, but oh well. Maybe he won't offer to join our colony anymore. Maybe he, we lost a little bit of respect from him. All right, so it's a brand new day, and look at that. The cold snap is over. We might get a few more warm days to finish out fall. I mean, that being said, it's still 20, 20 degrees out. I wouldn't call it exactly warm, but it's better than what we were having before. Hopefully we won't be freezing to death this winter. Now Tronca still has quite a few more trees to chop down before he can go back to researching, but um, his plant skill is so high, I think he'll get this done probably today, I would imagine. He could chop this all down in one day. That depends on how much of the day he spends um, cooking. Okay, good. Trunk has moved on from cooking and is now chopping. And look at that. Gorilla has had a growth moment. Gorilla has become a child. Gorilla can do all of this work. We're not going to put Gorilla to work. We're going to have Gorilla remain a tribesman and we're going to have Gorilla just prioritize being a kid. The only thing Gorilla needs to worry about is being a patient. Um, other than that, we want Gorilla to focus on his education. So, children in this game have a variety of ways of fulfilling their need for education. You can see their learning need is right here. The higher this learning need is, the faster their growth tier grows. So, right now it says 0 out of 30. When we get to 30, we'll be at growth tier 1. The next milestone will be somewhere after 30. And this will keep growing, and we want to get this growth here as high as possible to get the best possible traits for Gorilla. And all Gorilla needs to do is keep this learning need um, well met. So probably in the high 90s. Um, so anywhere from like 90 to 100 is where we want him to be. Um, Gorilla will automatically see to his learning need. Um, he's got various activities. He can like draw on the floor. He could run around the map. He can watch other people work. Um, and alternatively, the fastest way to get it up is he will choose to sit at this desk and learn a lesson. Now, this lesson needs to be taught by somebody. So, okay, looks like Minyaka is handling childcare. So Minyaka will be ahead, go ahead and teach him any lessons when he wants to do that. Um, another great way for kids to learn um, is to have them read books. We don't have any books, but if any traders come by, um, we'll be sure to buy some books and just have them on a bookshelf here. So. Um, Gorilla can come anytime, grab a book, take a seat, and just start reading. That'll also fulfill his learning need. Alright, let's check on Jay. Jay's at 85%, okay? So it's been one day and he's 5% further, so I think we have about three more days. It seems to be going at about 5% per day, I think that's right. Um, as we expected, Tronka pretty much got done most of his lumberjack work this following day. We're gonna go ahead and cut these stumps just so they don't go to waste. Um, and yeah, I think tomorrow, this will be um, super easy for Tronka to get done really quickly and then Tronka can start researching parkas again. We'll get those up and going before too long. Now we've got a bulk goods trader visiting from the Pact of Born. Maybe we can buy a book off of this bulk goods trader. Let's see. We'll wait for them to get in a little closer. Where are they? They're here. All right. We'll see what they have to sell. And great. Tronka has finished all of his lumberjacking, and he is now researching exactly where we want him. Uh, Minyaka, go ahead, and let's trade with this bulk goods trader. Let's see what we could possibly sell them and what we could possibly buy from them. Ew. I can't believe that's, that's for sale. Um, we could possibly sell them some livestock. We have a fully grown female. She's pregnant though. I think we, let's go ahead and sell this male, this adult male alpaca, the zero year old. Uh, we'll go ahead and wait for this baby to be born before we sell that. Um, then our yaks are doing fine. We've got an adult Yale Mac, uh, an adult male yak that we can sell. So we're already earning four hundred and twenty dollars from this. See if we can buy some stuff in return. 
let's see, we can probably sell our wake up. Um, we can sell our bad cloth tribal wares. We can sell our cloth burka. Anything else that might be worth selling or buying actually? I think we're probably fine. I, th I don't think their clothing selection is particularly good. We can probably sell light leather and pig skin. Those are kind of bad leathers. We'll keep our camel hide and plain leather. We'll keep our wolf skin bear leather. We can probably sell rhinoceros leather. Who needs that? Um, we'll buy all of their herbal medicine that they have from them. And uh, I think this is a good profitable trade for us. We're making $800. Perfect. So Minyaka, go ahead and get that silver hauled into their inventory. Maybe it's already done. Now that we have a bit of hay stockpiled in this barn, I think we could go ahead and plan our expansion of the barn. So let's go ahead and add some wooden walls. I think we'll make this a nice like L shape. And I think we'll go ahead and put our um, door like here. And I think we'll put another door here. And what we'll wanna do is we'll want to include a bunch of wooden shelves in here. Shelf here, maybe we can fit two along there fill the shelf there and we want to set the storage settings for this to clear all we want it to store at a normal preference hay or maybe a preferred preference hay and kibble we can take hay and kibble off the menu here so from now on all of our hand cable will be stored here and then this will be set to priority critical in the winter and then priority low in the summer so this is more temporary so it'll move back and forth between these two rooms. So there's a psychic soothe for males so Gorilla and Tronka should be nice and happy. Let's go ahead and get an update with Jay. Jay's at 88%. All right, making good progress there. I think we're going to need some wooden floors in here as well. So look at this, Minyaka is currently teaching Gorilla a lesson. So Gorilla is getting his learning need fulfilled really quickly. You can see how fast that meter is going up. Um, and Minyaka should also hopefully be improving her social skills. Yep, she is. Oh, and it looks like Gorilla was improving uh, his social skills too. He just reached social level one from that. Fantastic. Looks like um, it's actually above freezing, so our animals might be able to graze a little while longer. There's actually food outside. Not that it matters. We've already started the process of hauling all our hay in here. This is a big undertaking for sure. How's Chanka's research uh, skill going? All right, uh, he still has got a little way to go before he's a level six researcher. Oh well. Gorilla is really, really decorating our floors big time here. A lot of chalk on the floor. Gorilla, go out and play. You spend too much time inside. All right, so it's the following morning and looks like Binyaka is being kept very busy with a lot of uh, hauling activities. A lot of wood to haul, a lot of hay to haul. Um, so Minyaka is not going to have a lot of time to clean, unfortunately. Our base is looking like a right mess. But we're making decent progress on researching clothing, complex clothing. We're at 628 out of 900, so we're over two thirds of the way done. Gorilla is doing a decent job at keeping his learning uh, needs satisfied. He's 86%. We'd like it to be in the 90s, but um, with uh, without any books, I think his options are a little bit limited, so that's more understandable. Gorilla, go try to learn a lesson. I'm sure Minyak would be happy to teach you one. 
We might need a bigger barn. Or at the very least, we could put some uh, shelves in the barn to store uh, hay on. Yeah, let's build some, some more shelves in here. Four shelves in there, four shelves in here. I think that's a good balance. We're being raided by the Blue Skunk Kamba. They are preparing for an attack, so we should prepare as well. They are coming with a granite club and a short bow. Are any of these people worth trying to recruit? Let's see, Lobster um, is a poor shot, but actually has a major passion in shooting and a minor passion in melee, which is good. There's a lot of major passions. Um, even though he doesn't have a lot of great skills, his only good skill is medical, but he could grow up to be a great um, farmer, great constructor. So maybe we could capture this guy. I think he would be pretty decent. Oh, of course. He's addicted to smoke leaf as well, so he'll be a bit of a process, just like Jay, to get underway. We'll have to get him through withdrawal. Let's see what Olga's deal is. Olga's already really good at plants, but Olga's main thing is he is good at intellectual, which would actually be nice to have. 44-year-old archer. Would a 44-year-old really fit into their colony? I know. It's uh, something that doesn't really matter in this game, but it just feels weird because all our colonists are like young men and women. And then we invite a 44-year-old, he's just kind of awkwardly old. So since they have ranged, we want to prepare for this assault by getting some cover. So I think we're going to go ahead and move our colonists to find cover here. So we're going to go ahead and move them here preemptively. And we're gonna move Tronka up to get cover right behind here. And Yanka will have full cover there. And Tronka can start shooting. Perfect. Tronka has cover while Olga really only has a tree. Five people from the Blue Skunk Kamba are beginning their assault. Too late. What's this guy doing? He's just moving in with his club. All right, so let's go ahead and melee him. We're gonna go ahead and melee him with both, both characters. Fantastic. Um, we can unrecruit them. I don't think oh, I'm really tempted by the eight intellectual skill and seven crafting steadfast super immune. You know what? Let's capture this guy. Let's do it. Minyaka, I want you to go capture Olga. All right. So we've got our prisoner. How quick is this prisoner to dying? Tronka, you need to prioritize tending. Any health concerns we need to be aware of? Nope, no permanent injuries, perfect. Critical alert, medical emergency. Is Olga the medical emergency? Yes. Okay, good. I was worried it was somebody else. All right. Now we'll want to keep our eyes on Jay because Jay is already at 95 and 96% withdrawal. Fantastic. So Olga's gotten an infection. Unfortunately, I don't know if there's much we can do about this other than Let's allow industrial tech medicine or worse, and let's get Tronka to go ahead and prioritize tending to Olga. Please, 
please, please, please, let's get a good 10 quality. 20%. That might do it. That might do it. Okay, great. Immunity is actually ahead of the infection. Perfect. Chunk is cooking up a midnight snack. Looks like we're a little behind on our um, food production. All right. Go ahead and keep an eye on this guy. We don't want him running off. All right, Jay Gatherer is no longer capable of walking. He's no longer addicted to smoke leaf. So what's gonna happen to Jay? Is he just walking away? Tronka, I want you to be ready to capture this guy. I don't know if he's wandering or if he's trying to leave. Young Drifter desires aid. Poor child named Wolf is approaching looking for help. Wolf is begging for 81 silver. He wants to buy freedom for his big sister who was enslaved by pirates. Sure, Wolf. We can give you 81 silver. We don't really need all the silver we have. It's a very inconsequential amount. Cargo pods. Free Meg Sloth Wool? Yeah, we'll take it. Um, I think Jay's just leaving. Hey Tronka, I need you to try to arrest Jay. Cannot arrest, no reachable, unreserved, enclosed prison mark bed with safe temperature. Okay, let's write this. We'll go ahead and say this is for prisoners. And we will go ahead and arrest Jay. Sorry Jay, we couldn't let you get away. Um, excuse me, Jay. Where'd you get this beer from? I cannot believe it. No. Jay is drinking beer. Did that ruin his withdrawal? Oh my gosh. <sighs> that just set, our, set us back in terms of his withdrawal. Um, now, is Olga dying of hypothermia in here? What's the temperature like? Nope. Okay, it's fine for the time being. The infection is going well. Okay, Olga is going to pull through. So now, as a prisoner, we need to focus on recruiting Jay. And for Olga, as a prisoner, we also want to focus on recruiting Olga. We're going to need to make a new house for Olga. So let's go ahead and maybe plan out a new house. Go to orders, plan. Um, kind of want to reserve this for like any side wings that we might need to make for our main like throne room that we're going to have in here. So maybe another nice place for a house could be down here next to all the farms. We have a few houses dotted around like here. I like that. So let's see, maybe we'll keep a aisle of three here. And we can create just like a nice square house. Is that too boring? Maybe that's too boring. Eh, it is what it is. Yeah, I think, uh, I think a square house will do just fine. This should be plenty enough space compared to all the other houses that we have. So let's go to structure, wood wall. Let's go ahead and build some walls here. We'll go ahead and build a door. Create a new house. Oh, the beggars are leaving. We didn't get a chance to help them. Oops, we forgot. Perfect. Olga has developed immunity and should be recovering from his other injuries soon enough. All right. 
We're reducing her or his certainty by 2% every time we go in. That's going to be a slow and painful process, but we'll get there eventually. Now, Jay has slightly better social skills, so once we get Jay on board, hopefully we'll be able to speed up this process. Um, I think another tool at our disposal is if we create a ritual spot um, in our dining room. Oh, we already have a ritual spot. Oh, before we deal with anything, we gotta deal with this raid. They're going ahead and preparing so we can attack them preemptively. They've got two poor short bows. Um, what are their traits? Okay. Senra is 18 years old, tough. That's a really good melee trait. She actually also has the pairing of a passion in melee. It's six melee skills. Uh, and she's good at crafting and construction and not much else. Okay, um, she has potential, but she's not really good at anything right now. Um, might be worth recruiting if we can get her. And then we got Exorus Huntsman Hawk. Fast learner, that is such a good trait. Really good shooter. Industrious, global work speed plus 35%. Kind, everyone will like him. He has a minor passion for plants and animals in addition to shooting. He's already a decent doctor and a decent craftsman, uh, but not good at much else. This person would be worth picking up to be just like a good defender of the colony. I think either of these two people would be definitely worth picking up. Now, Huntsman does have a peg leg. That is something to note. 80% move speed, while Senra has no health conditions. Okay, good to know. Now, while they're preparing preemptively, I think we're gonna go ahead and try to get the um, get a head start on this on this assault. Okay, so let's go ahead and put you guys here. So I'm gonna put Tronka here, and Minyaka I'm gonna have hiding around this corner. All right, Tronka. You need to shoot better than that. Perfect. All right. Manyaka, let's swing you around. All right, so now I need Tronka to move up here and focus Senra down. Alright, perfect. Okay, unfortunately we're not getting Huntsman. Um, but that's no, that's no tragedy. We'll live without him. Let's see if we can get Senra. Senra would actually be a decent person to recruit to the colony. Let's actually move Tronka in to start melee attacking Senra as well. Perfect. So Senra, of course, was the person who has the tough trait. So she might be kind of difficult to take down with melee. So two on one. Let's hope this is enough. And she has decent melee skills. Ah, oh, and she died straight away. Oh well, guess it wasn't meant to be. Um, are any of your injuries severe? Well, Tronka has a shattered nose. Um, shame. All right, Tronka, I can't believe that happened, but oh well. Go ahead and haul this herbal medicine on your way back. Okay, Minyaka, I need you to go ahead and prioritize hauling her to the dead body pile on your way back as well. And I think this is probably a good place to end the episode. Yet another raid defended, um, but unfortunately, Tronka has just completely lost his nose. <laughs> what an injury to have. 
shattered nose. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. And in the next episode, hopefully we'll be able to get Jay recruited. He doesn't have too much resistance. Yeah, only 11, so we'll get Jay recruited in no time. Olga will be much of a slower process, but we'll get Olga eventually as well. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you then.